Civil War is not my favorite Marvel movie. I just don't get the same enjoyment factor that I get out of something like Infinity War or Endgame. Do I still love it? Yes. Do I still think it's near perfect? Yes. But this video isn't a review of Civil War. This is a video essay about Civil War. In particular, one character in Civil War. Marvel usually does a pretty good job of handling their side characters and giving them an important motivation and role in the story, but one I feel is a, is a standout and exceptionally done is Black Panther in Civil War. I could go on and on about how good his action scenes are, or how cool his suit looks, but this video isn't really about that. This video is about why I think Black Panther has an excellent motivation in Civil War, and why he's one of the best characters in it. In my opinion, Black Panther is better in this movie than his own solo movie. Let's talk about why. Black Panther comes into the story when his dad is speaking at the United Nations about the Wakandans that were killed when Scarlet Witch accidentally blew up the building. As we know from his solo movie, T'Challa is extremely attached to his family. So when his the building is presumably blown up by James Barnes and his father dies, he gets really mad. This serves as T'Challa's main motivation for the story. He wants to get revenge on who he thinks is James Barnes that killed his dad, and he will stop at nothing to do it. A couple lines that indicate this are, firstly, this line. Move, Captain. I won't ask a second time. What's so good about this line is it really gets across T'Challa's motivation. He will stop at nothing. He won't ask a second time for Cap to move, because Cap can't stop him from doing what he set out to do, to avenge his father. He says that not even Captain America can stop him, he'll stop at nothing, and he won't ask a second time for Captain to move, because he'll do it anyway. Another line I'm going to talk about is usually seen as a joke, and while it is very funny, I do think it has another meaning for T'Challa's motivation in this movie. It's this line. I'm glad. I don't care. Like I said, this is usually seen as a throwaway line, but I believe it does have a bit of meaning for T'Challa's motivation. He doesn't care about what's going on around him. He only cares about his goal, which is killing Bucky. He doesn't care about the feud going on between Captain America and Iron Man. He only cares about what he set out to do, again, to avenge his father, which is also part of the reason he joins Iron Man's side. I mean, if you think about it, it would make way more sense for T'Challa to join Captain America's side. After all, his whole first, his whole solo movie was about him not wanting the government or the outside world to have access to Wakanda's advantages. And Team Cap's goal is to not let the government have access to the Avengers' advantages. So it would make sense for him to join Captain America's side, but he joined Iron Man because Iron Man is against Bucky. Black Panther's eyes are filled with vengeance. He doesn't see what's going on around him. He doesn't think about what the reasons of joining each side are. He just joins it because he wants to complete what he wanted to do. He wants to kill Bucky. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get across is that Clint's motivation is vengeance, and his eyes are filled with it. It's blinding him from the real situation around him, and he will stop at nothing to kill Bucky. Now, I want to talk about a Black Panther scene I love. This can kind of be a One Marvelous Scene video, but I already have one of those. Go check it out. The scene I'm talking about is the scene between Zemo and Black Panther at the end of the movie. What makes this scene so beautiful is that by this time, T'Challa has probably realized that it was Zemo who killed his father, not Bucky. But he also realized this, that him and Zemo are alike. After hearing Zemo listen to his family's last message on the phone, he sees that him and Zemo both have the same motivation. Their family members were killed, and they're trying to kill the person who did it. They both are motivated by vengeance. In this scene, Black Panther first takes off his mask, because he doesn't want to fight. He acknowledges that Zemo and him are alike, and he just wants to have a talk. But, notice he still keeps his claws out, just in case it gets dirty. After a little talk with Zemo about why Zemo lost his family, Black Panther retracts his claws and says what I believe to be one of the best lines in Civil War. He says, Vengeance has consumed you. It has consumed them. I will not let it consume me, or something like that. Something I hadn't really thought of the first few times I watched this movie is that Black Panther sees a family being teared apart. The Avengers are a family, and they're being torn apart. Black Panther's very reason for joining the story is family, and now he sees that what's happening is tearing family apart, while what he wanted to do was avenge his family. So he stops. Zemo then tries to kill himself, 
but something really beautiful, T'Challa stops him. This is when I believe T'Challa really has his 180, the peak of his character. From then on, he, res he is close to his family. He does not let himself get driven by vengeance, and when he does, he his family helps him to calm down. Anyway, in short, I really just wanted to talk about how beautiful of a character arc Black Panther has in this movie, and why I believe he is one of the best side characters in any Marvel movie. I really hope they continue to use him in this way. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comments what you think of this video. Make sure to check out Sowesset Clothing. As always, use promo code ZED. Subscribe to my Instagram. Give me to 1,000 subscribers so we can have the official Z Discord and some other special things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.